The ending to How I Met Your Mother had us all shook. Now, whether it was a good shook or a bad one, well, that completely depends on your perspective. And speaking of perspective, there's something else that would have completely changed the way you looked at the show. Imagine Jim Parsons playing Barney, but sadly, he didn't make the cut. In today's video, we'll be talking all about this and more updates related to the actor. First up, Barney Stinson and Sheldon Cooper, the ultimate opposites. Now, in our heads, there's no one else other than Neil Patrick Harris who can really hit the right notes with Barney. NPH just made it work, and somehow, even despite some of his revolting actions, the character became one of the biggest stars of the show. In fact, that's one role he is still known for. If you take a look at Jim Parsons, on the other hand, well, he's widely known for his ultra-iconic portrayal of Sheldon Cooper in The Big Bang Theory. Can you even imagine? Imagine him playing Barney. That would have been shocking, to say the least. The two characters couldn't have been more different, and we're sure that if they met each other in an alternate universe, they would extremely despise each other. What's surprising is that Parsons actually auditioned for the role of Barney, but as we all know, things really didn't work out for him. Next up, what went wrong with the audition? Not long before Jim Parsons got selected to bedazzle our screens as Sheldon Lee Cooper, PhD, he was actually in the running for the role of Barney Stinson in How I Met Your Mother. OMG, right? Now, you might find that a bit strange, and let's just tell you something, you're not the only one. That's right, the actor himself wasn't exactly convinced if the role was right for him or not. While talking about this later on an episode of Live with Kelly and Michael, he admitted that trying out for the part was definitely one of the stranger experiences of his life. Well, he said it. He also added that when he was getting to know the character, the description read that Barney was a big lug of a guy. This led him to think think, who the heck looked at me and think, big lug of a guy? He ended up thinking that the entire thing was very silly and that there were no similarity between him and the character he was supposed to play. Next up, Barney had his challenges. Now, of course, every character comes with his or her own unique set of obstacles that an actor must overcome to nail their performance. But when it came to Barney, things got pretty complicated. That's right. You see, even Neil Patrick Harris didn't think he had it in him when he auditioned for the role. This just makes it even more clear why Parsons Parsons was so skeptical about it. NBH told GQ that he thought he wasn't going to be the right fit for the character. He mentioned that he was sure he won't be getting the role on the multi-camera comedy show. Also, an interesting fact here, he hated the fact that the show was named How I Met Your Mother. But hey, there's no way we can imagine Jim Parsons, the same guy who played Sheldon Cooper, playing the role of Barney Stinson. Now that would be such a weird crossover. Moving on, was he the right fit? Now, NPH might have been able to overcome the obstacles with East, but we're not sure if that would have been the case for Jim Parsons as well. Obviously, we're not saying that he's not a versatile actor. He's amazing and completely sweeps us away with whatever role he's playing. But the thing is that Barney was definitely out of his comfort zone, and not in a good way. Playing the role of Sheldon Cooper got him heaps and heaps of success. He's now considered one of the best actors of his generation as well. Everyone just loves him. But let's just pretend for a moment that he had gotten the role of Barney. What would have happened then? Well, he definitely would wouldn't be a household name, we can say that with confidence, and who knows, maybe we would have had some other actor playing Sheldon. No one would have really liked that. Parsons, in an interview with James Corden, said that after the audition was over, he almost ran away from the room, screaming. He also admitted that he had no idea why he went there in the first place, since he knew from the beginning that it was just not the right part for him. Now, Jim Parsons and Barney Stinson are still connected, in an odd way. Of course, in the end, the character ended up going to NPA whose portrayal of Barney still has us in stitches. The actor ended up describing the character as the devil of the devil on your shoulder, and we think that's just as accurate as his portrayal of him. And honestly, we wouldn't have had it any other way. But what's interesting is that Parsons and Barney are still loosely connected after all these years. Yep, and there's a bit of a science involved behind this connection. You see, Sheldon Cooper and Barney Stinson are so different from each other that they might just be the same character from alternate dimensions. Now, isn't that interesting? Interesting. Parsons, during his appearance on The Late Late Show, said that the theory was fascinating. He also suspected that maybe people thought this because of some vibe he was giving, and that maybe below his Sheldon Cooper, there was a raging horn dog and a womanizer. Now, that's something to think about, isn't it? Well, that's all we have for Jim Parsons' botched Barney audition. Aren't you glad that he stuck with the role of our favorite socially awkward genius Sheldon Cooper on The Big Bang Theory? Speaking of the show, can you guess which of his co-stars Jim Parsons misses the most? 
most? Let's get into it and figure out the answer. After 12 successful seasons, the Big Bang Theory finally came to an end. And well, let's just say that it was a very satisfying end. Sheldon finally won a Nobel Prize, and that too with Amy. Leonard and Penny got pregnant, Raj got a date with Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and Howard and Bernadette were living a happy life with two kids. All of these developments definitely hit a sweet spot. Now, as you might know, Chuck Lorre had originally planned to continue the show, but Parsons decided to move on, causing the show to come to a stop. And while not many of his co-stars agree with his decision at that moment, Simon Helberg was right by his side. The two apparently spent a lot of time together behind the scenes, and, well, that's why he admitted in an interview he was going to miss Simon the most. Next up, here's more on their friendship. Now, Howard Wolowitz and Sheldon Cooper might not be the best of friends on the show, but when the cameras stopped rolling, the two actors were actually pretty tight. This might just convince you of how close their relationship was. You see, the cast of the show was sure that they'll be coming back for season 13, but Jim Parsons made it clear that he wasn't going to return, which shocked everyone and caused poor Kaylee Cuoco to have a breakdown. But Helberg stood by Parsons' decision. In an interview, he said that he was ready to get out of the security of the show to fully find out what was next. As for him, he never thought he'd work for more than 12 seasons, and that's exactly where he stopped. But of course, leaving it was not an easy choice for him, since he had been working on the show with everyone for quite some time. Moving on, here's what he had to say about it. Jim opened up about the time he spent on set with Helberg and said that he was going to miss him the most. He also recalled that the two actors would often hang out in each other's dressing rooms, having fun and talking about everything. He said that they'd been spending quite a lot of time together during the filming of the show. He also mentioned that it would be really sad and hard for him to not have deep talks with Simon after they were done with the series. That is very wholesome, if you think about it. We wonder what the two actors used to talk about. And well, the show might be over now, but let's just hope that they get to have their deep conversations like before from time to time. Now, let's talk about how emotional that final episode was. The last episode had all of us in tears. And guess what? The entire cast felt that way as well. Apparently, there was no dry eye during the last table read. What's more is that Sheldon's Nobel Prize acceptance speech truly showed the development his character had gone through. And now can we forget the fact that he finally referred to Howard as astronaut Howard Wolowitz? Now, that was certainly a huge deal. And you might have noticed that Sheldon actually chokes up a bit when he said that. Isn't that beautiful? Well, this definitely was the perfect way to wrap up the show. With all the amazing character developments and Sheldon finally being able to achieve his lifelong dream, it's hard not to shed a tear or two while watching the finale and seeing how far the characters have come. Lastly, what's his take on the rest of his co-stars? The actor was closest to Simon Helberg of all of his co-stars on the show. Now that is the kind of poetic justice poor Howard Wolowitz, the engineer, deserved. But of course, he had a lot of love for his other co-stars as well. He has thanked them many times for all the happiness they brought him, and when the show was about to end, said that he was going to miss them more than they could ever know. That's a wrap for this video, folks. Can you imagine Jim Parsons playing Barney? And do you think they should have continued The Big Bang Theory? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.